Hi, I'm Jenny. Welcome to this series, 21 Days of Tapping to Become a Fear-Free Musician, where we're taking all those different things, both on and off stage, that get in the way of us enjoying this career, of moving forward and creating the success that we really desire. So today, day 12 is a tricky one because we're going to be talking about perfectionism. And as a classically trained musician, um, well, what alternative is there? It has to be perfect. That was the message we received over and over again. And more often than not, it was not perfect. And if we did ever reach that, yes, we got it, then we moved on to something new, which also had to be perfected. And aiming for perfect every time, it may sound laudable, but really it gets in our way very often. It stops us from starting things, or completing things, it stops us from taking risks, it stops us from accepting and approving the things that we do and ourselves. And so we suffer and worst case scenario, we give up altogether. And that's not what we want. So let's do a bit of tapping. Let's tap on this idea of it's got to be perfect and then tap into an acceptable alternative. So first of all, think of something that you're working on or something that you're creating right now and say to yourself, it's got to be perfect. And on a scale of one to 10, how true does that feel for you? And what kind of thoughts and feelings and even memories come up for you? And when we're ready, let's start by tapping on the side of the hand. Even though it's got to be perfect, I love and accept myself completely. Even though it's got to be perfect, I love and honor myself completely. Even though it's got to be perfect, there can't be anything wrong with it, or I just can't accept it. And even though it's got to be perfect, I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. It's got to be perfect. Unless it's perfect, it's just not good enough. I've been taught that over and over all those music lessons. It was never perfect. There was always something to correct. Always something more to learn. And often I could feel my teacher's disapproval and exasperation, even anger. And I took, the, took away the message that I wasn't good enough. There was something wrong with me. I would never get this right. And if I did perfect something, we'd move right on to the next thing which also had to be perfect. All this need for it to be perfect and all the feelings this brings up, all the sadness, all the hopelessness, and all the anger and frustration at myself because I'm so not perfect. And I feel this need to give myself a hard time. I can be really mean to myself. The things I say to myself, you're useless. Oh my God, that's horrible. 
give up right now. They're all gonna hate it. They're gonna see all those mistakes, all those imperfections, and they're gonna judge you. They won't like it, and they won't like you. It's so imperfect. All this heavy energy. And what's the point of putting it out there when it's just not perfect? Okay, so take a breath. Now, maybe right now you're feeling even worse than before and that's okay. What I suggest you do is if anything specific came up, do a couple of rounds really voicing the kind of words you say in your head, the feelings that you feel, maybe in your body as well. One thing, I'm sure you've all heard of Brene Brown, um, she talked about perfectionism and her take on it was this. Many people think of perfectionism as striving to be your best. But it is not about self-improvement. It's about earning approval and acceptance. So just say that. I really need approval and acceptance. And just feel into that statement, how true it feels for you. And let's just do a little bit of tapping on that. Okay, so side of the hand again. Even though I really need approval and acceptance, I love and accept myself completely. Even though I really need approval and acceptance, I love and honor myself completely. Even though I really need approval and acceptance, from other people and from myself and I so often don't get it. And even though I really need approval and acceptance, I deeply and completely love, honour and accept myself. I really need approval and acceptance. I've always needed approval and acceptance. It's a basic human need. Because if we're not accepted, if we're rejected, it doesn't feel safe. And it certainly doesn't feel good. So why create things? and run the risk of being rejected. This part of me that needs approval and accept acceptance tells me not to take these risks, not to even try. Because there were so many times when I didn't get it, when I really wanted it from parents and teachers, from peers and colleagues. All those times when I didn't get approval and acceptance. And it really hurt. I'm healing those memories now. I'm healing them from every cell in my body I'm healing them from my energy system, all the way back through every time that I wanted approval and acceptance and I didn't get it. I'm healing it now and I choose to give myself approval and acceptance. It starts from here. And instead of being a perfectionist, 
I choose to be a high achiever. Whatever that means to me. I choose to focus my energy into doing my best in each moment. And I'm adding a touch of originality, allowing my own self-expression and a touch of humour and light-heartedness. Not taking myself so seriously. I'm adding joy and passion. All the things that drew me this, to this career. I'm allowing these for myself and allowing myself to keep growing and learning. as I share my music and creativity with the world. So take a breath. And remember what Salvador Dali said, have no fear of perfection, you'll never reach it. So make the choice instead to be a high achiever without needing to be perfect so that you can enjoy yourself and love and accept the things that you create and put out into the world. Um, this is so not perfect. Today, for some reason, there's lots of background noise, but I'm putting this out anyway, and I hope it's helpful, and thank you for tapping with me.